Welcome back again for another exciting video, MTG and D&D reveals and reviews. Excited today, we're going to be looking at just a couple of different booster packs. We're looking at a couple of set booster packs of the Brothers War and a couple of draft booster packs of Brothers War. Got these at just my local gaming store here this weekend and thought I'd just do a quick video on them, opening them up, letting you guys see what is inside, see if it's something you guys might be interested in. But before we jump into it, like always, make sure you like the video, click that like button. Let's make sure we let YouTube know we enjoy this content so I get seen by more people and recognized by more people and help grow the channel. The bigger we get, the more stuff happens and the more things we're able to do, more videos you're able to make. Don't forget to subscribe to MTG and D&D Reveals and Reviews. Click that subscribe button and get some subscriptions in. As soon as we hit the 150 subscriptions, we will be giving away some awesome stuff. And so let's get those subscriptions in. Click that notification button once you do that so you don't ever miss a video. And to help with subscriptions, make sure you share the video. Make sure you let everybody know about it. Get the information out there so people know about it, learn about it, and they subscribe and like it and enjoy it, hopefully. And we'll grow and we'll get farther and farther and do more and more things. Check more and more things out. Always, if you have any comments, if there's a specific booster pack set, something that you are interested in and not really sure you want to spend your money on it, comment it down below and I'll try to get a hold of one of those and open those up here on the channel. And that way you can say, hey, maybe that is something I want or I'm glad I didn't spend my money on that. Let me do that for you. Of course, I got my Magic the Gathering shirt on. I'll have that link down in the bio for you if you want to go to Amazon and grab yourself one. Going to be trying to get a few more t-shirts, give more options out for people, but excited about checking that thing out also. All right, we're going to jump right into this. We've got two draft. we got two set boosters. We're going to start with a draft booster pack. So we're going to pop this thing open and see what we have got here. I missed out on the pre-release stuff and I meant to do that and just the way things worked out when it came time uh, for me to be able to get them. I just, it just didn't work out for me to get them. So I'm excited to open these draft and set packs and see what we got. So we got Whirling Strike, which is an instant card. We have got Shoot Down, which is a sorcery card. Uh, Gaix's Gaix's Caress, which is a sorcery card. We've got Deadly uh, rip, Reposle? Repo, repost? Repost? I don't know. I'm not saying it right. I apologize. Instant card, though. Here we go. Uh, Quills Rock a Bird. Nice creature card. We have got uh, Mercer's Juggernaut. This is an artifact creature juggernaut, so pretty cool. Unleash Shell. Nice. Uh, an instant card there, red instant card. Looks like it does some damage, pretty cool. Goblin Firebomb, which is an artifact. We've got Raise to the Ground, which is a sorcery card. Ravenous uh, Gagamole, as I say that, which is a mole horror card, so pretty cool. Uh, Aloy Animist, a human druid. Uh, Splitting the Power Stone, a sorcery card. We've got Spectrum Sentinel, a soldier card. We've got Urx's Silex, a legendary artifact. We've got Milestone, which is an artifact card. And then we have got a Construct, a token artifact creature construct card that came in that. So pretty cool. Pretty awesome. I didn't even pay attention. Let me look at that real quick. I didn't look to see. Okay, so this one is a Mythic card. Let's see what else we've got in here. And this is just a draft booster. So really for being a Mythic card in there, that's pretty good. Okay, the rest of them are just commons and uncommons. But one Mythic card, the... Uh, Urza's Silex. It's a legendary artifact. So pretty cool looking card there. Looks like it does some good stuff. Awesome. All right, check out, we're going to check out the next draft pack. We're going to get through both the draft packs, then we'll check out the set packs and see what we have got. All right, put that trash off the side for now. All right, we've got Neural Root uh, Paul Bearer, which is a tree folk druid. We have got uh, Disfigure, an instant card. Uh, Tychus's own onlet, onlet, which is a construct, artifact creature on construct. Depth Charge Colossus. Now that is super cool looking. Artifact creature dreadnought card. Mercia's Dominion, an enchantment aura card. We've got Mine Worker, which is artifact creature assembly worker. Uh, Scrap Work Cohort, which is just a soldier card. Scrap Work Rager, a Phyraxian horror. We've got uh, Tacos. Tacasis, Tacasis's dig site. I'm not saying that, which is a land card. Skyfisher Spider, of course, a spider card. Slagstone Refinery, an artifact card. Uh, Ashnod's Harvester, which is an artifact creature construct. 
We've got Blast Zone, which is a land, and it is actually a rare card. Uh, Ikor Wellspring, which is an artifact. And then we have got a foil uh, Gaxian Skull Flayer, a Phyraxian, Phyraxian Human Assassin. Pretty cool. No token card, just stuff on Magic Gathering Arena there. So cool, really, for a couple draft packs. Those are not bad. We've got a foil card in one, we got a mythic card in the other, and we got a rare in the one that's got the foil card in it. So really pretty cool. All right, we're going to jump into the set packs and see what we got here. Now, of course, these only have 12 cards in them instead of 15, like the draft packs do. But you have a higher chance of rares, mythics, foils, all that kind of stuff in them. And if I can get it open, this other one's open real easy. This one does not want to open. All right, cool. We've got right off the bat, we got a Brothers of War art series card. So a cool art card. If that's something like you like to collect, keep, we got that. We've got an island, a foil island with this cool looking construct back there in the back. We got Curate, which is an instant card. We've got Latnam Adapt. Latnam. Latnam Adapt. A human wizard. I don't know if I'm saying that right. There you go. Union of the Third Path, which is an instant card. Uh, Defabricate, which is an instant card. Uh, Sagestone Refinery, which is an artifact card. Forging the Anchor, which is a sorcery card. Iron Craw Crusher, which is an artifact creature worm card. Pretty cool. Uh, we've got Fal Valjean, I think says that. Dragon Engine, so it's an artifact creature, a dragon card. Pretty cool. We've got uh, Chromatic Star, an artifact. Then we have Urza, Lord Protector, Human Artificer. He is a rare card there. Pretty cool. He's actually got a really cool back to him. So that is interesting that they would put that on the back there. I almost feel like that was a misprint because, anyway, because he wouldn't really be, I guess, I guess if you used him as a commander, it would be okay, but you couldn't really use him in your deck because you know he was coming up because of that back. Anyway, and then we've got a Foil Warlord's Elite Human Soldier card. And then it came with just some, uh, it says prototype on the back, some plus one, plus one uh, counter cards. Pretty cool that you can pop out of there. So that's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. I like it. So not bad. I don't know that it's that much greater than what those draft packs were, but still pretty cool. Let's check out the last one here. Of course, we've got another art card that is in there. So pretty cool there. Got out of Foil Island. We've got Fog of War, an instant card. We've got Centennial Stalwart, an elf druid soldier. Pretty cool. We've got Dredging, Dredging Claw, which is an artifact equipment card. We've got uh, Gaxian Skull Flare. We had that in the other one, but it was a foiled card. This was not foiled there. Uh, Gaxian's Caress, which is a sorcery card. We had one of those earlier. Uh, Thopter Artifact, a human artificer card. Arms Race, an enchantment card. Recruitment Officer, a Human Soldier card. Soul Guide Lantern, which is an artifact card. Uh, Tecosias, Tecosias, I don't know if I'm saying that. Welcome, which is an enchantment card. And this one is actually a rare there, it looks like. Then we have a Foil, the Stone Brain, a legendary artifact. And it is a rare card and it's foiled, so super cool. And then we've got a Power Stone token artifact Power Stone card there. So pretty cool. I don't know that I would say these are the best ones I've ever opened, but I don't think they're the worst ones either. They're pretty, got some pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, some things that maybe I would like to see a little bit more of, but not bad for just four booster packs. You really don't know what you're going to get when you get those. But pretty cool uh, stuff in there at the same time. It still cracks me up that this one has got that on the back uh, of this legendary creature. So really outside of using him as a commander in a commander deck, I, I don't know how you'd be able to use him other than I guess if you put protectors on them, so it would cover the back anyway, so you'd be able to see it, I guess that would still be fine. Uh, but it kind of cracks me up. I just really wonder if that is some kind of a misprint or not, because I wouldn't think that'd be something they would do when they're supposed to normally say, you know, Magic the Gathering on the back, so they're all the same. But anyway, pretty cool. Love it. I like it. Check them out. Uh, I got this from Runcible Games here uh, in my local town, and so I want to tag them in this video when I get done. Uh, but check them out. Of course, you can find these booster packs online, but you just have to buy a whole bunch of them at one time, uh, which gets kind of pricey. It gets kind of expensive doing it that way. So I'll probably anything up for Amazon other than the shirt that'll be on that link. But hey, check it out. Go grab one. Hope you like the video. Make sure you share it, like it, subscribe, click the notification button. Hope you have a great day. See you later.